weather hasn't been that great lately in Newcastle, lots of rain. Um, so I haven't been able to get out. Finally this weekend, may rain. Got out to have a look at the boat last week, uh, pulled the carby out and then replaced the carby gasket kit due to continual problems with it just conking out on me. Got that solved, cleaned all the jets. Uh, unfortunately didn't film that. Been an ongoing issue. But whilst in there, realised I need to do a bit of maintenance on the boat, getting ready for this summer. So unfortunately, the flooring in it is bad. So today's video is pulling up the floor, replacing it, got the new plywood sheets there. And I'll show you what we're up against. It's not in the best condition. It's sinking here, it's cracked. We've we'll just, uh, it's a Stacer 420. I think it's a 2006 model. Not a bad boat. 4.2 meters in length. So basically, just gonna pull up the flooring like I've done on the front there. Underneath the floor, it's not in the best condition. So I'll pressure clean it out, fully clean it. Um, then from there, we'll undercoat the, or paint the, um, the floor, just to give it some sort of sealant compared to out of the factory where they just slap carpet on the top and be done with it. So if water manages to sit in there for a while, the, um, it just soaks into the plywood. Even though it's marine ply, it still won't last. So anyway, I'll do it in different segments. First segment will be just pulling the floor out, which I've already started, and then we'll just go from there. The floor out now, here it is here on the ground. Obviously not that hard, it's just screws. And then inside the boat, you've got all these foam blocks, obviously to help it float if something is to go wrong. They're all the way through. So what I'm going to do is pull them out individually and lay them out in my shed in order so that when I, after I finish cleaning or pressure cleaning the uh, base of the boat, the floor, then I'll put them back in the right order so they don't, um, don't have any dramas with it. Just going to take a little bit of time to get the um, little bit of carpet off here on the edges and then cut out on the new uh, marine pie the shape I need. Drill the holes exactly where they are so it goes straight back into the floor nice and easy into the existing location of the holes. And then, yeah, it's easy as that. It's not hard, just time. So today and tomorrow, there's no rush. A couple of trips to Bunnings, I guess, for stuff that I'm going to forget to buy. Okay, so all the foam's out. Got one more floor panel with the battery, just got to quickly disconnect that. Get that floor out, and as you can see, just the amount of crap that builds up. So the plan is to uh, get in there and pressure clean that out. Get it as tight as I can. If I do get any water on board, allow it to flow away. As I said, I, I took the foam out, and I put that in the garage in order of what it came out, just so I don't make a mistake. It's not that hard to cut the difference. Um, and that's pretty much it. Just take your time. Don't rush it. It's like when I did the canopy, the snorkel on the truck even. You just take your time, think about what you're doing, and you'll be right. You can pay somebody lots of money to do this, or just get in there yourself and have a crack. Probably just a, a little tip. Learned the hard, well not the hard way, but um, probably vacuum it out first before you saturate it with water. Get as much as you can out. Basically what you want is all your channels, like this here, but down the bottom there, to have the water running from the front straight through to the back. Basically if they block up, you're, um, you're gonna get a whole heap of water sitting in your boat. You could be out in the ocean, you might have a small hole somewhere or you know, you've left one of your bungs out by mistake and that water just sits there and doesn't get the opportunity to get to your bilge pump or whatever, depending on how you've set it up. Anyway, basically now we've vacuumed it out, um, pressure cleaned it. Mightn't look great on the camera, 
but it's a hell of a lot better than what it was. And all those channels are now free flowing. So water can get away and disperse off quite easily. So now I've got the, uh, the whole floor out, the batteries out. Just over here on my table. This is pretty much the way I'm gonna set it up, I think. Is just um, clamp it down. This is the, um, at the back, one of the back panels. Whenever you deal with buying plywood, obviously you're not going to get it in the sizes you want. So to try to minimise wastage. Um, I've worked out already. I can do the two back panels plus also one of the big front panels up the top. I think I've got about 1,700 left over and the panel's 1,520. You're always going to have some wastage, but you don't want to buy three sheets if you can do it in two sheets. So I'm just going to mark these out now and then... Um, Get the jigsaw onto it or the circular saw. With this one. I ripped the carpet off this one. I was just showing you how it's set up. Cut it out. Then put the um, the main floor up on the on this bit up here. Do exactly the same thing. We'll do it with all the panels. Then I'll set these panels back on and use the existing holes. Grab a drill it back to where it's supposed to be once it's cut out I can do it now got a hole here hole here one there and I think there was one in the corner as well which I'll have to try to work out where that went um, paint it you can see how this is deteriorated with just water and moisture so we'll paint it and seal it up a bit and hopefully it should last a bit longer cheers Okay, so I've just cut one out to show you how to do this one. Just using the jigsaw. There's nothing on it, it's all clear. drilled the holes so in theory just gotta remember how this actually went he went that way paint carpet that and we're in just gotta do the rest of the floor do the other panels exactly the same just take your time so it's all cut out I think you'll see me cutting some of the board uh, some of the flooring so it's all cut, hopefully the size, it should go straight in. I've used the old boards as the template. So what I've done now is just, uh, I'll show you, I've just painted, uh, undercoated all the flooring underneath, um, which you know, potentially will be exposed to water. So just to try to seal that up a bit, just used paint that I had in the garage, didn't go out and buy new paint for it. So this is where we're at. This afternoon I'll uh, head in the Bunnings and we'll get some carpet marine carpet i've already got some uh underlay glue which i used inside the canopy of the hilux and this is what we're at so far as you can see it's just all painted one side's not that'll be where the carpet goes morning guys day two of replacing the carpet on the floor of the boat Went to Bunnings yesterday afternoon, brought the blue carpet. Just figured that uh, the black might get a bit too hot in summer on the feet. So went with the blue, got home, painted the other side of the um, flooring as well. So I've got both sides painted now, just to show you. So that's what we're going. And both sides painted. That's the... Um, glue I used. Use that on the car as well. 
works really good. So the plan today is to uh, basically cut around, probably about 50 mil around the edges, just to fold over like so. And I'll probably end up stapling it as well. So I'll glue and then staple the, the edges over when it's cut the shape. how you do it pretty much um, still got to fit it to the boat but this is the end result we'll get it fitted up um, this afternoon after a bit of lunch front of the boat yeah so now just go and fit it up squeeze it in there get it secured down total cost the plywood was two sheets 12 mil 2400 by 1200 wide $149 from Mr. Plywood. Marine carpet, um, three lineal meters, they're two meter wide sheets, 150 bucks from Bunnings. The glue I already had, but I think it's about $50, uh, 50 bucks for the glue. Then um, just your other tools, which fortunately I already had. So just take some time. It's probably been a one day project in total, eight hours. And then, um, yeah, $300, $350. Finished. Last, a few modifications. Little alterations had to be done. The Just a few little tips allow for the thickness of the carpet. So I was probably about 12 mil too wide on, uh, on both floor panels. So I just had to take it off and just skim it 12, 13 mil off both sides on the edges. 
um, not down the center because that's already the factory clean cut straight down the middle but here it is the end product just flick it around and So uh, really happy with that, the floor is now strong, it's fixed in, um, as I said last week I fitted the new carby gasket kit and adjusted the, um, the fuel rate, so I've got it running nicely now, some new rollers on the week before that and ready to go for holidays, so we'll start doing some more adventures, get out there camping and fishing. <laughs>